Meliki Kimaka is the thing to say when you got three, so does the try to die. That's the island greeting that I send to you from the land where palm trees is gay. Here we know that Christmas will be green like this. The sun will shine by day and all the stars like this. Malakabiki Parka is the thing to say when they say Merry Christmas, oh no. Down from heavens bearing the gift, it's Jometheus, and welcome to three sodas I got today. I don't know. <laughs> tropical, because I got some three tropical sodas. You got this, you got this cola, wait. You got this coconut soda, which is popular in Puerto Rico. You got this cola champagne, which is popular in Puerto Rico. And last but not least, I'm a little bit uh, nervous to try this one. It's the uh, Malta, which is popular in Puerto Rico. So we're going to try three of these out and uh, see how they taste. And hopefully they don't taste horrible, but they probably will. So I'm going to try out the coconut to start. I don't smell anything right off the bat. Huh. Okay. You know, I'm not terribly mad at it. I thought it was going to be completely horrible. Um, it's actually very subtle. Like, it's a very subtle coconut. It's definitely coconut. You can't smell it. Okay. Okay. I can see where that, uh, that might be popular. It's got, that, like, a hint of coconut, like a little bit of coconut, and then it's mostly just carbonation and a little refreshing. I don't know, even though it's artificial flavored. It's not bad, gotta say. Sun is shining bright and all the stars at night, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Just because I was under the impression, I felt like the type of sweet that you get with coconut and the type of sweet that you get with soda are two kind of completely different things like coconut weirdly i feel like almost has its own uh inherent like baked sweetness so i was thinking that was going to be super overpowering and it was going to make this taste horrible when you clash with soda but it's not bad it's not not terrible no you don't not down here over there go down over there over there not right here all right so next we're gonna try the cola champagne and i've i've heard tell that it tastes nothing like the cola that we think of. Um, I forget what it is actually supposed to taste like, but I guess we're gonna find out. So let's see. Ooh. That's got a very strong smell right off the bat. It smells like bubble gum. Okay. Hmm. Huh, it's pretty good. It's got like, um, and I don't really like, I, I kinda used to like it, but I don't really like it anymore. It's got almost like a cream soda kind of thing, but it's actually, it leans more towards, like my first initial impression was bubble gum. It tastes like bubble gum, it's like a bubble gum soda. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, I'll try that out. All right, um, wow, so two for two for two so far. I really wasn't expecting that I was gonna like any of these, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's not bad. And now, the PA de Resistance. This is a very divisive soda, um, but it's kind of mostly bad, I think. Most people don't don't like this, so I'll give it a shot. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll get a clean sweep that I like all three of them, but I doubt it. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? I smell them all. I don't know, I can't think of anything that's gonna prepare me for this, so I guess I'll just try it. What the fuck? It's like, I don't know, it's not like spit it out immediately, it's so disgusting, gross, but it's like not good by any means. I wouldn't drink this again. It tastes like, I don't know, it's got, it's so weird. It, it tastes like it's like a half of a beer or something. Like it's not a fully developed, I don't know, I really don't. I keep drinking it, trying to think of ways to describe it. It's, oh, 
it's just kind of like harsh. It's not like completely punch you in the face. It's just kind of unpleasant. It's like slightly bitter. It's really, really bad beer, but it's not alcoholic, so. Ugh, God, I hate that. Why do people drink this? It smells like caramel that you made out of like expired sugar or something. Oh, it's like a sour caramel. It's disgusting. I don't like that at all. I don't know. I was anticipating I was gonna have more of a reaction to that, and then it'd be funnier, inherently funnier. But I guess funniness doesn't come from a soda. It comes from within your heart, and I just don't have it. Wash that taste out of my mouth with some cola champagne. And with that, I think that's probably gonna bring us to the end of this video. Hey, Cal. If you come across this in the store. Give this one a shot. Give this one a shot. Uh, you're probably not gonna like this one. But that's been my will it be good for the week. Oh yeah, I gotta do the intro. Will it be good or will it be bad? We're gonna find out today. Alright, I'm gonna add this ad to together at the end because I forgot to do this part of it so I'm gonna do something a little unprecedented I'm gonna try all three of these together and it's gonna be a disgusting idea but it should be funny so I'll do it anyway so here we go here goes nothing oh fuck this is a horrible idea Oh, it's like a party in my mouth and they called the cops and everybody got arrested. Oh, fuck. <coughs> oh. Oh, that's offensive. Offensive to the senses. I did not enjoy that, even a little. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, the roof of my mouth hurts. That's not a good sign. Oh. Uh. Oh, why'd I do that? Mm. Uh, I hope it was a little bit funny at least. I'm gonna catch, catch, hit the, grab my surfboard, hit the waves, catch the waves, catch them. So, see you on the, doing others, see, adios. As they say in Puerto Rico, bottoms up. As they say in Puerto Rico, I'm gonna drink this now. As they say in Puerto Rico, this one's going down the hatch. Except it's not. I'm not gonna drink that again. That's really bad. <laughs>